Thomas wasn't at the gate, and Ray fought like a wildcat. We barely made it out of there alive. He was out of his mind and still out for blood. So I told him the secret of the medallion. I figured it was a fairy tale, but at least it would keep him busy. But it was true. It was real. The medallion led us to the entrance of an ancient vault. The door was already open, and I suspected why. Thomas. Somehow I just knew. I followed the faint light through a passage constructed centuries ago. It was right then and there I made up my mind. I knew what I had to do. I had to save my brothers. I warned you, Thomas. I told you what would happen if you stole another woman from me. William? You said he was dead. That is what Juan said. I told you what I would do. Didn't I tell you? Thomas, don't. He'll kill you. I loved you and you lied to me. Both of you. You betrayed me. What do you want from me, Ray? I want justice. Oh my god! I wanted so desperately to lead my lost brothers towards the light of the Lord. But I have failed us all. And now my brothers are mortal enemies. Why? For what? A woman? Gold? Maybe the time for talk is over. Maybe I can show them that there is something more important than pride and avarice and lust. I will not let you kill Thomas, Ray. It's none of your business. To get to him, you have to get past me. Out of the way! Ray, for Christ's sake, he doesn't have a gun! You know what I'm capable of, Ray. I'm a murderer too now, just like you. I won't tell you again, boy. Step away. I'm reaching on three. One. Do it. Two. No! Three! I've never been one to be superstitious, but maybe this gold is cursed. How is it you're still breathing, Barnsby? I don't know. That Apache chief took his knife, cut my ties, and set me free. 
Not a word why. Wasn't too hard to follow your trail. Must have been the good Lord's will. This gold will help me restore the army of the Confederate States of America. Under my command, the South will rise again, and this time we will be victorious! Colonel, you've lost your goddamn mind. And I think the time has come for you two to pay the price for your cowardice and desertion. There were three of us in those bitter days, and each of us would have braved the fires of hell for the other. No one could stand against us when we stood together. Three brothers. William, well, he was the best of us. A man of faith. He sacrificed his life to deliver me from evil. Like the Savior himself, dying for our sins. Like Running River, who spared the murderer of his own child. William wanted me to find the Lord, and in his sacrifice, I did. Oh, we left the gold. We knew it was cursed. I put away my guns and dedicated my life to serving the Almighty. I became the preacher my brother William always wanted to be and joined Thomas and Marissa in holy matrimony. William, I know you're looking down on us, and I want you to know your passing was not in vain. And though nothing is like it used to be, one thing remains, we are still a family. 